Part 3, T-Side Pistol Rounds. I'm planning on getting through every map in this series, and I already have ideas for most of the other common maps, so I'm going to go over Inferno for this one as well. Before anything else, it's important to note that the USP and P2000 actually do give aim punch. This means that not only are you trying to not get headshotted by the laser beam guns, you also have to worry about getting your crosshair shot into the heavens by the other team. This means that armor is extremely important. You want to get as many players with armor as possible. Now onto the actual strategy. First, it's important to remember that the USP is a better gun than the Glock. That means that the slower you run your strat and the more spread out your team is, the more likely you are to get entried on. Second, remembering back to the very first point I made, you want to run as few smokes and nades as possible without putting yourself in a bad spot. That means that in combination with my previous point, quick strats are great for keeping you, specifically your nade and smoke carriers, from getting picked off. Quick strats also capitalize on the fact that if you catch someone out with the USP or P2000, it's easy to overwhelm them as they have very few nades to work with and their single fire gun is unable to mow down several opponents like a rifle could. 3. Look at areas with the closest range engagement angles. These spots are banana in the site area, truck side middle, and apartments. 4. Look at the pros and cons for these spots. For banana, you have to run through a choke point where you're easily naded and smoked off, and you also have to deal with long range angles at CT spawn and spools or construction. The upsides are that it's easy to catch players out of position, and you can catch people blind a lot with flashes over. For truck side, you have to worry about running into a solid 3-man passive setup around site, and you can get picked off easily before getting into a, an after plant position. The upside is that there are a lot of close angles when hitting up truck, and you can get a good split on A from truck and apartments. We, should, we ran into a fucking stack. Fifth, try to use up to two smokes and four flashes, not more than two players, to nullify as many cons as possible. For banana, this means smoking off spools and CT, as well as flashing over to catch players out of position. For A site, this means smoking off arch side and pop flashing top mid. Six, decide which site you want to hit. For this, consider which site you prefer to play after plant. For B, this means you'll be holding from banana, banana and site or back site. For A, this means holding from truck, site, pit, and graveyard. 7. Flash, flesh out your hit for that site. For B, you already know you have to smoke out CT and spools, so you need to decide whether to delay hit or, or hit quickly with a rush. If you delay, you can prevent the setups that send 3 to banana early and you can bait them into rotating 1 from A and leaving only 1 B, then hit up and capitalize on that. If you hit quickly, you can catch their 2 players more off guard and out of position and you can prevent early rotates that letting a player get to car gets. A delay, in general, will give you an easier plant but a harder hold. For A, you already know you need to smoke arch side and split apartments and truck. To flesh this out, you need to decide whether to hit truck primarily through boiler and split 3 truck 2 apartments, or hit truck primarily through mid and hit 4 truck 1 late apartments. If you run primarily through boiler, you stop yourself from getting naded at top mid and you get control of apartments. If you run primarily through mid, you're better against double truck setups and you have to worry less about getting smoked off apartments. Note, the reason that I say if you don't hit through apartments, you have to hit one late apartments and four truck, is that if you send only two through apartments and they run a crossfire setup, you're just sacrificing two players. 8. Touch up. This means get the specifics down. For B, if you plan to hit slow, decide on the position you're going to start the round in. If you're going to rush, consider naming the player you want to turn around to watch the flank after you take the site. Also consider whether or not you want to send one player to take control of mid, fake A, or flank the rotates from A. For A, plan, to, plan for what you want to do if you get smoked off in, in apartments. Decide the exact timing on the hit. If you plan to hit out apartments late, tell your apartments player at what point exactly to hit out. Also consider if you want to send one banana early to prevent the instant rotates. Finally, organize your after plan. Try to get into as many crossfires as possible and pick up USPs and P2000s on the ground that you can. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, my next video is going to be on ecos and anti ecos. Also, if you have any ideas for videos you'd like me to do, leave a comment and I'll try and get to them.